for multiple linear regression model that we would use. So uh, we have to select various variables. Uh, uh, the linest function in Excel uh, gives you power to select around 16 uh, variables uh, at a time. Now, uh, based on the sector, you will have a set of equation for that sector which you can use for different companies. But again, uh, you have to be careful here. So a backtest would be like if you say uh, a multiple is defined by leverage, uh, return on capital and S&P or the market return. Then you can backtest that and see how that has been performing. But at the same time, you have today's number. So if you have eight peers, you can talk about how your regression equation talks about a multiple and how it is defined for these eight companies. This would give an insight on how to increase the multiple, what factors contribute most to the multiple. If we can tweak onto that, maybe market will reward us more multiple. It's a bit quant strategy. If you can link it with a lot of logic and understanding about that sector, about those companies, you can help the clients to increase their EV by EBITDA multiple. So uh, you have to select and deselect. Now selection and deselection becomes quite tricky. Sometimes you don't get really the good equation that you are looking for. As I told you, uh, there are challenges in selecting those numbers. So you will first deselect everything. You will select the one which is highly correlated in the same direction. So you can take three steps. Either you can select everything, 16 most important or the best. You can keep on deselecting them based on the p-values or you can deselect everything and select the one which has got the highest correlation. So these are two set of equations. Now a problem comes that when you select everything which has got good, good p-values, all are significant, but the r-square falls down. So that becomes tricky. So in that aspect, you have got two or three uh, hidden trial methods. Probably you, if you are like taking on the return on capital aspect, you can take uh, like uh, total return upon net income or total return upon sales or total return upon EBITDA and search for the best numbers that fit there. So you can change those shades, but you have to be careful about two things. The p-values should make everything significant and your R-square should be good. Anything about like 50% is uh, good to go since you have got very less number uh, here so you can go for a forward selection a backward selection a selection where you do some hit and trial a selection where you go both up and down and there are ways to select uh, the best regression uh, points but whatever you do it should make a business sense the contribution should be right so other than the r square the p value the contribution of that uh, uh, that factor should be good enough so like if you select s and p and you see that uh, 14 units out of 15 units of the uh, multiple is explained by SNP. You think that probably this is not the right way to go. So you'll have a macro set, you'll have a set of the companies, you'll have a growth set, you'll have a risk set, you'll have a market risk like volatility of SNP, volatility of sales. So you'll have various sets where you can plug and choose equation and probably you can come out with two or three uh, multiple linear regression equation that makes most sense. So a company can gauge which risk is moving down its multiple. The company can also gauge which uh, a risk would move up its multiple. Is it more debt? Is it more return? Is it uh, more growth on and how these uh, sheets come into picture? So this is a multiple linear regression that would take like if you have eight peers and you go for uh, 10 years. So you have 40 points for each of these companies. So 40 into eight, you have got 320 data points that you can use uh, compared to uh, a rank correlation where you have just today's number. So this is one way to configure the MLR setup.